Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we're going to be discussing and going over a brand new Max Raid event that's happening right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. As another month goes by, we do get another one of these special weekend events and it is beginning right now on the 30th of April and we'll be running over this coming weekend. So uh, without further ado, let's jump over to our trusty source at Cerebi and let's check out the details. Lots going on in therapy today with the uh, new release of Pokemon Snap. Very excited. I've just got home from work, hence the reason for this video actually going up a bit later today, but you know, better late than never. But my copy of Pokemon Snap has arrived, if you can if you can see it. I don't know if the green screen's making Meganium disappear. I think it is. Anyway, it has arrived. Very excited for it. So we'll have content on that very soon on the channel. Anyway, getting into today's video, the event itself. Uh, the Wild Area has now shifted to in Pokemon Sword and Shield for an extra event. With this, for the next few days, Meowth will be available with Shiny Galarian Meowth being available. Uh, they are currently compiling all of the event data, so you can check back later. But you know what? Joe has been on it and only event data has been compiled and uh, we can take a look. So, like I said, the event itself is running from the 30th today of April of as of watching this when this goes up on the channel and it will run until uh, Sunday the 2nd of May. So we've got a few days for the event actually taking place. The uh, event dates aren't actually on this but I'm pretty sure it will run from the 30th till the 2nd of May. So we normally have that time span Friday, Saturday, Sunday evening is when it shuts off and then reverts back to uh, it will revert back to the previous dens but we're actually due a den update for uh, May so that will be coming probably Monday keep an eye out for that so uh, let's go through the motions it's all going to be about Meowth Meowth Festival you've got uh, the Glaring Meowth uh, Alolan Meowth and you got Kanto Meowth. So you got all the Meowth variants. These are all your one star raids. Um, it does look like uh, you got to get big nuggets, so that's pretty decent. Uh, and then the two star raids, you're going to get more big nuggets. No other items that are really jumping out to me. Uh, but you've got a 17% chance pretty much across the board uh, to get any of these in the 1 and 2 star raids. Uh, the Pokemon will be exactly the same in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We'll check that out just before we go into the next bit. Um, same again for 3 star, 4 star and then we get down to the juice and here we go. This is what it's all about. We're looking for these 5 star raids as we normally do in these event dens uh, where we've got a couple of really unique Pokemon starting off with the G-Max Meowth. Now this was a special kind of um, event Gigantamax Pokemon at the release of Sword and Shield and I don't know if we've been actually able to get access to this since then. Obviously, we've got Max Mushrooms now with the um, uh, Isle of Armor. Uh, so you can just take a regular Meowth and then just give it the Max Mushroom and that will kind of overcome it. But we do have access to a den with this Pokemon in it, which is pretty cool in itself. Um, obviously, not a shiny chance for the Gigantamax Meowth from this event, but uh, a very cool option for us to catch anyway. So you've got an 8% chance of that spawning. You've got 17% chance for the Kanto Meowth. You've got a 33% chance of the Alolan Meowth. 23% uh, chance of the Galarian Meowth and then you've got a 2% chance of a shiny Galarian Meowth. So this will be a square shiny uh, Galarian Meowth. Very cool because it's a very cool shiny and obviously shiny Berserker. That gold color as well is one of my favorite shinies in, in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, items that we're going to get, like I say, there's nothing like spectacular coming out of this one. Uh, again, kind of like your standard items, really. And we'll move down to Pokemon Sword. Uh, well, on Pokemon Sword, we'll move down to Pokemon Shield. And the event is exactly the same across the board. So it doesn't matter which game you have or which game you're participating in this with. Okay, well, these are the details. Like I say, running from the 30th of April until the 2nd of May. Let's hop back into game and show you how to get this Pokemon. Okay, once back in game, what you want to do is you want to get yourself an, a, a den with the event or promoted raid actually running in it. So as you can see here, this is the one that I previously had, which should be an ice cream. Oh no, it's the previous den, so um, it has reverted back, I've been online since. Uh, so this is the uh, last event den. Now to get these dens, what you want to do is just visit any, any random den in the wild area and drop a wishing piece into it. And then check if it is going to be, obviously this event is very easy to kind of spot because it will be the Meowth that will appear or Galarian Meowth and it shouldn't normally be in that den. Um, if it's not, just go to another den, drop another wishing piece, it'll reset the previous den and kind of go in between them. The dens that I use in Drappled Grove 
are the two closest together probably the easiest to do uh this event and, and spawn an event den uh, but once you have your event den what you can do is just not come to the home screen you want to hit your menu screen you want to go to mystery gift and then you want to go get wild area news and i know we do this every time but there's always that one or two new people that are coming in that don't know about this and it's always useful to do just for a reminder and i'm sure that the rest of you don't mind so to connect it to the internet it will just uh, update all the dens in the the wild area in the isle of armor and in the crown tundra so you get this message and then once you come back out into the game go back into the den and you can see uh, you can see that it's updated. So we've got an Alolan uh, Meowth, which is great and all, because I was initially thinking we got a five-star Meowth was what we want, but we want the Galarian Meowth. So what you want to do at this point, if you uh, want to skip through the dens to change it and try and get that five-star Galarian Meowth for the shiny chance, what you want to do is just hit this invite others. Make sure you're offline when you do this and hit your home menu come down to system settings then down into system date and time make sure that your synchronized clock by the internet is off come down to date skip your date forward one date hit ok then come back to the home menu go back into the game quit out of the den and this will reset a day in the den it'll change the weather you can see it was a sandstorm and now it's snowing once you go back into the den you'll get 2000 watts you'll know that you've done it correctly and the pokemon should have changed which it has from a five star to a four star and you just want to repeat this over and over again until you come across that galarian uh meowth the five star one and then what you can do is save in front of it and check to see if it's shiny but we'll show you that process um i'm just going to go through and uh, skip until the point of actually getting it because um it's always good to try and see if we are lucky enough to get the shiny in these so you can see and look at the typing as well of the pokemon because a lot of the sprites are going to be the same you can see this one is the glaring one but it's a four star uh, just keep an eye on that it will make this a lot easier obviously the cantonian meowth is a normal type the alolan is a dark type and the galarian is a steel type making it a little bit easier to kind of distinguish between the sprites that you're getting there because sometimes it can be a little bit tricky um but we'll keep going and we'll be right back when we get that five star okay we finally got the steel type here which is the galarian meowth and it is a five star at this point what you want to do once you've reached the five star galarian meowth raid you want to just save your game in front of it because if it's not shiny uh, you can then reset and then come back in and start the date skipping all over again until you hit your next five star galarian meowth and then you can check it again so what you want to do is just come in to check it don't invite others just jump straight in and i'm praying one of these times we are going to get it on our first attempt there is a lot of you down in the comment section that have said a lot of the time you do get it straight away and is it it is it is it is i think it is we've got the thumbnail here for the video we've got the galarian meowth how oh this is perfect i can't believe it okay a bit of the top reaction here but we do get the shiny galarian meowth on our first try it was gonna happen one of these times and i'm so pleased it's happened today uh very fitting so this wraps up the video what i'm gonna do over this weekend is host this over on our discord for anyone that does want it it won't be this evening it will probably be tomorrow evening i'll post up on discord when it's gonna be if you want to join the discord come over and try your chances of getting it on saturday sunday evening and uh, then hop over join the discord it's a great community anyway and i'll uh, i'll update you all i'm gonna reset this now so i can kind of come in keep this and then uh, help whoever is having a hard time getting it get this me out over the weekend so um i'm gonna wrap it up there friends that's the event for the weekend it's a very special one a very nice way to end the video finally and um i hope you have a great weekend if you've got pokemon snap i hope you're enjoying it i'm looking forward to getting into it and having uh doing some content on it and uh reliving all those old memories that i had from the original game have a great weekend whatever you're up to we'll be back with more episodes early next week and uh whatever you do take care of yourselves and i'll see you for the next one so until then take care and bye bye